Hey, fellas. Before I even start, man, huge, huge credit to Brett, a.k.a. the Benny B. When he made that post about the Tupperware, he really got me to thinking. So thanks, Brett. This is what I came up with for breaking in my motors, okay, my, my gearboxes, because I've got uh, a pair of them on the way. FedEx says they'll be here tomorrow, okay? So anyway, this is a different set of gearboxes, but I'm going to take my new ones, and I'm going to break them in and set, set up just exactly like this. This is just a motor plate out of a Tiger One. I just took a regular motor plate, one of the ones that Eric sent me. This is a standoff that came out of an old set of gearboxes. That standoff right there is threaded on both sides. All I did was put it on the bottom of the plate and put a screw through there. And the reason I did that is so that when you set it down, it's tilted like that. Okay, and that'll become evident why I did that in a second. Then, here's where Brett's idea came in really good. I went down to, uh, we got a place up, up here, it's called Myers. It's kind of like Walmart or Kmart. It's just a big department store, you know. And they sell these. This is the Meyer brand. They're Tupperware bowls. I bought three of them for $2, okay. And they come with lids. Now, I made sure to measure so I would get the right size. And I determined that what I needed was 5 by 7 by 4 inches tall. That way I could get the lid on and all that good stuff. So, and that's pretty much exactly what these are. It's 5 by 7 and they're a little over 4 inches tall. So I put a hole in there and I ran through. I, I made up a cable. Now this is a 5 pin connector but I'm only using 4 of the pins. Uh, I'm, I'll show you that in a second. And uh, it comes through and they join together and they just hook up to a, a Tamiya battery connector. Okay. So I take the gear boxes. I mount them on the motor plate, put the with the standoff on there, I set it down in, and they sit right down in there like that. And now the motors are tilted up. Everything is tilted up at the back so that when I pour a half inch or so of motor oil in here, it'll come up high enough to hit the uh, the axles and the lower gears, and that should spread everything throughout the gearbox. We'll see. Okay. So I set it in there, and here's why I've got the five pin put in. Now, I'm just going to plug in the motors, one on each side. I just plug them in. Okay. Now, when the new gearboxes come in and I start doing this, I'll put the oil in there. I'll put the top on. I'll plug it into a battery. I'll let them run in the oil. For, I don't know, Eric says about an hour. Um, I don't think the battery will run that long. But anyway, that's probably a good uh, reference. Run them for one battery length. I'd like to put in some kind of a dimmer switch so that I can vary the speed. Uh, we'll get to that later. And I'll make that so that I can just uh, plug it in too, you know. But anyway, now I've run it. I've oiled it. I've run them for a while. Okay. Now the way I've got this wired, I pull these out and I switch places. Okay. Move this one over. Plug this one into, and now they're going to run in the opposite direction when I plug them in. Like before they were running, let's see which way they, before they were running backwards, now they're running forward. So I can run like one battery length on forward and then switch over and run in the opposite direction. I got the lid on there to keep the oil from splashing everywhere. Thanks, Brett. That was just a wonderful freaking idea, bro. <laughs> I mean, I'm really, really happy with this. When the new gearboxes get here tomorrow... I will be using this method to break them in. I will then remove the motors and clean the gearboxes thoroughly with uh, mineral spirits. And then I'll re-oil and lube everything and uh, install them in the tank. So there it is, fellas. Uh, that's pretty much Brett's idea for breaking in gearboxes. And I think it's going to work just absolutely fantastic. See you next time.